When I walk into this facility, I see something that we have dreamed for, for many years. And to now see it completed and working is a feeling of pride. Everything's been thought of, everything's been accounted for, and for the first time it's all being pulled together in a way that just hasn't been done before. Light is very important for our plants. So what we decided to do with this greenhouse was to first use low iron glass that allows more light transmission. And we use argon to provide insulation, temperature control. And we have a haze glass that breaks the light down and allows more penetration of the light to the plants. We can control the temperature levels from 95 degrees to 65 degrees in each room separate. The temperature doesn't vary too much. We have a very uh, uniform distribution of air. We've been waiting years to have this opportunity. I mean, these greenhouses aren't just a place to grow plants. This is my space. This is what I need to continue my work, to make my work better. Fertigation is basically a delivery system for the plant's food and water source directly into each individual pot. It's all automated, so I get to focus my effort on my research, which is what matters. The biggest challenge in studying agronomic traits is the environment. So we built this facility to create the environments we want to study our plants in. We have several different kinds of growth chambers. First, we have what we call the precision chambers. The chamber itself is actually monitoring the plants. We don't have to do anything. So the chamber watches the plants round the clock. In addition to precision growth chambers, we also have climate controlled chambers that are larger and house more plants. We can grow full size sugarcane plants in the growth chambers there. And we can also study small plants, really how they grow and what, how much oxygen they consume or how much carbon dioxide they consume. In that way, we can improve plant performance for the grower in the field. I'm really proud of the fact that Syngenta has put its money where, it, where its mouth is, bringing together all of the components that uh, allow us to create the environments to grow multiple crops from multiple regions of the world simultaneously. We need to create environments that are reflecting the environments that our customers experience. Whether we are growing sugarcane in Brazil or rice in India, this facility gives us a whole new range of tools to really improve the productivity of agriculture, and I think that'll help our future generations. The challenge is the need to feed the world that's growing at a rapid pace. One of my motivations to become a biologist is to bring products to growers to grow more from less. Every amount of research that I do, in turn, affects the food that we supply to the world. My daughter, her children, when she grows up, what they eat will be what I have helped to create. And that's huge.